Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm out here amongst the juniper trees and the sky. And they're pretty much total silence here. It's beautiful. Except far off in the distance I hear the hum of a grasshopper. So anyway, this is just a quick um, insight that I had regarding solar storms which I've written about more or less extensively in the past. Um, and it's sort of a visualization. So the thing to do is to imagine the Earth and the electromagnetic field around the Earth, which is its protective, it's, it's our protective aura as, as inhabitants of Earth. And uh, when, a, when um, the solar winds come in after, um, after a coronal mass ejection, um, that's earth directed and the solar winds come and hit the earth and they they make these beautiful uh, aura aurora displays and at the north pole right so we human beings we also have electromagnetic fields and uh, when the when the solar storms come in because of the like i think it's called the electron or proton anyway the charge on the Earth's electromagnetic field, our electromagnetic field is also um, like lit up. And, and actually the electromagnetic field that we have around our heads is, is lit up with the same kind of uh, energy or if you can imagine something like the energy of the North Pole that has all the beautiful auroras. So, so that's one way of visually imagining uh, what happens when we have a solar storm and why it is that we need to protect ourselves a little and just take good care of ourselves as, as these changes happen in our electromagnetic field and especially affecting our mental field. So, it's, it's beautiful. We probably have auroras around our heads then. <laughs> Or maybe not, but kind of like that.
So I found the right road, thank goodness. <laughs>